In this lesson, I want to address uh, something called infographics, which is becoming very, very popular. And uh, there are all kinds of web-based applications that allow you to create uh, nice infographics. However, uh, unless you've got some really extensive experience or talent in graphic design, it's really hard. I find it very difficult to create nice-looking infographics. Whereas Microsoft Office uh, offers you a great tool called SmartArt. And these are examples here of some of the projects my grade 10 uh, students have created using SmartArt in Word and PowerPoint. I mean, um, in, in my humble opinion, these are snazzy looking um, and they, uh, they tell a story. So I use them, uh, I ask my students to reteach a concept that they've learned uh, using an infographic. So it summarizes a chapter or it summarizes a bunch of information or um, I also use it for some critical thinking. I get them to find things that they believe uh, would work. So these are just four different examples of infographics that can be created using good old Microsoft Office. So uh, I'm going to show you where the smart art is and how to use it. Very straightforward. So uh, Word or PowerPoint, they both have it. So you would go to insert and you go to smart art. Now, uh, the best ones are the ones that allow you to include a picture. So click right over to picture here. And, you know, you might want to experiment with some of these. Um, some of these, depending on what the project that you're trying to do, right? But look at all of them, right? And a lot of them, and all of them, sorry, allow you to incorporate a picture as well as text uh, in order to tell a story. And, of course, you can add graphics to the background or to the side. So you can add, or you can even combine two on a page if you wanted to, to create an even better infographic. So I'm not going to go through every single example. It would, it would be up to you to just test them out to see what they look like. Um, so I'm just going to try, try this one here, which is really basic, and then hit OK. So here is where you put the picture, and you just click on it, and it wants you to look where. So I've set this up so that it wouldn't take too long. So I have some computer related pictures here. So uh, we can say here, insert that picture. So there's that picture. And then you type whatever. So let's say we were talking about a computer cat class. Uh, we can say maybe we got keyboarding. And then if you type more, so I'm just gonna type some gibberish here, but you'll notice that the font adjusts so that you can fit more into, right? Which is very, very user friendly. And then when you're ready for the next one, you simply come here and you go to the next one. And let's say we were doing multimedia with sound. So we put that in here. And then once again, you can add whatever text that you want it to add in there. And let's say there was a group work involved. Uh, so let's say collaborate, and then of course you add information. Uh, if you wanted to add a shape, you've just added one. So now you can you can add more. And you've got room, of course, to add titles if you wanted to, etc. So I wouldn't be from within. I would probably go above and uh, add some kind of a title. Um, so you can just simply just click out of this and then go to insert and ask for word art. And then I would just group the two. Now, in this version of uh, 
Microsoft Office uh, Word, it's not allowing me to group the title and the, uh, the actual smart art. So you can simply print screen this and then move on into PowerPoint and paste it and then just crop out all the stuff you don't want. All right, so I've cropped all of that out and then you can make this bigger if you'd want. And then all you need to do is right click on this and save it as a picture. Just give it a name. And then you can just simply insert that into any document you want, into a website, etc. It's yours to keep. It's just like a piece of clip art. Just insert a picture and it's yours. Now, just back to the um, original document here, back here. When you're, when you're on your smart art, you get two toolbars. So you've got lots of things that you can do to this. Uh, you can change the colors if you'd like, if you don't like the color that it came with. So you can customize this in a bunch of different ways. Very easily, just by clicking on whatever one you want. Um, you can ask to see the text pane in here. It's like an outline view if you want. You can move certain elements up or down if you want to change the order. So it's incredibly user friendly uh, and it's just a very easy and effective way uh, for you to create your own infographics. And again, if you wanted more than one on a page, this is simply a picture, right? Once you've saved this, you can simply put that on a document and then put another series on a document and create your own infographics quickly and easily using uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. It's available in both.